Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's work in progress video is actually um, a stitch marker that I'm making and it is a work in progress. Um, what you see here is not, it's not finished, but um, for some of you, uh, you may know that I started another channel and that I bought a Glowforge laser engraver, uh, cutter engraver. And so the other channel is for that. And there's only one video up so far. It's just me unboxing it and everything. But uh, I decided today that I would make myself a stitch marker with it. And so, uh, yeah, it took a few tries to get the right size. Because um, <laughs> I'll be honest, guys, I don't use a stitch marker. So... I had no idea how big they were. So, um, I mean, I've seen them and I have little plastic ones, but I don't have any custom made round wooden ones. <laughs> so anyway, um, there is something on the other side of that and I'll show you all in a minute. But my first attempt was an inch and a half in diameter. It's pretty big. I didn't realize it would be that big. I don't know why I didn't realize it would be that big, but uh, that's it's kind of big. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but. So that one was too big. It's kind of like Goldilocks and there's three bears here. But that one was too big. Then I made another one and I made an oopsie right there. This is half an inch in diameter. This is too small. I mean, it's not too small, technically, because I've seen, like, you know, stitch markers that are probably about this big. But I have something written on the other side, and so it's just too small. So this, is, this half an inch is out of the question. So then I got smart, maybe. And I went on Etsy and I looked at a few uh, wooden engraved round stitch markers and uh, I looked at like two or three uh, different makers and they said that theirs were uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter. So this is what I ended up with. This is, um, I feel this is a good size. And so, um, I did not, uh, use anyone else's file or design, I guess, um, for designing this. Um, but I did use, um, I kind of Googled crochet sayings or crochet memes or whatever. And, uh, this is so true. So I chose... One, two, three, shut up, I'm counting. So if you've, when you're counting, and normally it's my husband that does this and it's so annoying. I'll be counting and he'll like, I'll be like 20, 21, 22, 23, and he'll go 84, 62, 35 to like mess me up. And I'm like, are you serious? And I tell him to shut up, <laughs> shut up, I'm counting. Oh, it's so annoying, and I know I'm not the only one that that happens to. So, anyway, I thought it was cute, so I put uh, one, two, three. So, uh, the shut up I'm counting, I've seen before um, in graphics and stuff, but I decided to add the one, two, three, like, you know, someone's counting, and then shut up I'm counting. It's kind of cute. So... I'm gonna keep this design, but uh, the finished pro product will be, um, this is draft board. And I've been using this big piece of draft board that came with my Glowforge just kind of as testing material. Um, but the finished product will be on a finished piece of wood. Uh, and then this clasp is just I went and took apart one of my necklaces and just used that. 
Um, I will actually use this. This will be for me if I ever decide to use a stitch marker. I'm not going to like throw this away or anything, but, um, but yeah, see, this is way too big. And then this is like, I mean, I can read it, but it's small. And I know they're just there for the, for, um, I mean, they serve a purpose, but it's not like anyone's going to read, like walk up to your crochet and read this. But it's cute. Um, I'm going to probably design two more. Um, they'll be they'll all be round, but I'll I'll do two more, and then uh, once I have it down, and once I pick the wood I'm going to be using, the finished wood I'm going to be using, and go and buy more clasps, um, I will probably be offering them as a set of three to you guys. So, um, yeah, that's my work in progress this week. It's not technically crochet, but it is a crochet stitch marker. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.